Welcome to another Stock Odds podcast. This is Odds and Ends Market Talk with Rob Friesen and Dave Singh for September 12th. We're getting ready for the week ahead, checking the futures, um, the risk of the market, and uh, what are what do the odds say? What should we be expecting for, for the week ahead? Hey, Rob, how's it going? Not too bad. Hey, let's uh, look at how the futures opened here. Uh, a few hours ago, we had uh, a little bit of a rise coming off of... Uh, where we finished up in the after hour session on Friday. So we didn't have a huge bounce. We had a little bit just before the market closed and a little bit of run afterwards, but then we we kind of like, you know, didn't show any signs of, of relief. So it was a question as to how things would go this weekend. I'm sure there was some concerns about maybe some other, you know, a terrorism event could happen. Who knows, you know, these anniversary things are always a concern. Um, and, um, you know, with nothing having gone on, um, we should, you know, we should be set for a, a rally back, but, you know, it's all going to be between now and uh, pre-market how things, so things go. So let's just frame it here. So we had the Dow futures, S&P futures, NASDAQ futures, and even the Russell futures, uh, rally after they opened at, uh, you know, 6 PM Eastern time and, They've, you know, got back to kind of the cons one of the consolidation points that we had during the day on Friday, and then they pulled back a little bit from that. Now they're bouncing a, a bit again. So there's a little bit of, of volatility, a little bit of uncertainty, um, and it's going to be sort of an overnight thing and a pre-market to see where we we finish up. Um, so that's what I see. Um, obviously, the VIX will, you know, follow along. And, and if the market's rallying, the VIX should sell off. If the market's selling off, then the VIX should rally, right? Um, Looks like a little Germany, risk on Germany here. opened up a bit. Like, so they've had a pretty good gap. Um, so we'll see how they're trading in the morning. Go ahead. I said it looks like a, a bit of a risk on uh, mentality here. VIX is down. Crude oil's up too. Um, uh, we're also approaching the mid month here, the ninth and tenth yes. day of the month. So, money flow coming into the market may help support some of this uh, initial. Yeah. So our purchase. our mid month our mid month seasonality and our uh, seasonality almanac is from the uh, ninth business day of the month. That's the actual ninth trading day. So account for you know, holidays and stuff in there too. But the 9th to the 14th, I tend to I tend to wait the 9th, 10th, and 11th, and possibly the 12th. I don't always go all the way to the 14th, but that's what that mid-month seasonality um, says on our almanac, okay? Good. So what do you, what do you see on the individual uh, sectors? Um, how are we positioned? Like, where's, where's the money flow gonna, gonna occur here? Are we, are we uh, looking at, uh, you know the basic materials or oil or yeah. you know where, where seems to be the the expectation for this week yeah i, I use the almanac uh, screener just beforehand before this conversation and we can see that the the iwm the russell ex is expected to outperform the spider for mid-month seasonality we've got 0 0.02 versus um the spider being down minus 0 0.14 so a little bit outperformance from the um from the russell uh, basic materials, XLB, expected to outperform the spider as well. So uh, materials a little bit bullish. XLC is expected to underperform, underperform pretty drastically the spider. So we can expect things like Facebook and uh, XLC components to underperform. Um, energy seems to be bullish. Um, it's expected to outperform the spider as well mid-month. So uh, And that's uh, in the futures we're seeing that too. Crude is up. Uh, for financials, financials, we've got outperformance relative to the spider as well. Um, same with industrials. Uh, so industrials, financials, materials. Uh, technology is expected to underperform the spider. Uh, we also saw that in XLC. So maybe some of the large cap uh, tech uh, could have um, some underperformance there. Uh, consumer uh, staples, XLP expected to underperform the spider based on the odds here. And uh, real estate expected to um, underperform the uh, spider as well by quite a bit. And utilities expected to outperform the spider. We've got uh, health healthcare expected to outperform the spider as well. 
and consumer discretionary to underperform. So mm -hmm. it looks like there's a theme here of maybe some softness in big cap tech, some of the growthier um, uh, components. Yeah, well, you know, it does it does take a little bit for like we had a, a shortened week, and uh, you know the the selling sort of picked up into Friday, but we we had shown a little bit of weakness, and it, initially, um, as we talked last uh, last week, um, with our prepare, preparation for the week. We saw technology stocks uh, a little bit more resilient, uh, like I was favoring the NASDAQ 100 for, for start the start of last week. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, that seems, you know, maybe to be a little bit more, you know, of a concern, I guess, because, you know, after things start to get hit like that, then, you know, more people jump on the bandwagon and say, well, you know, I'm going to sell too. So it's going to be very interesting. I'll just show you, just tell you how I'm positioned for the week. Um, I've got uh, I've got my eyes on that mid month seasonality as well as expiration Friday, and I'm expecting, according to the almanac, a very very weak Friday. So I'm hoping for you know some uh, some good bounce coming out of the gate, and then you know kind of top off into maybe Thursday, uh, Wednesday or Thursday, and then and then have a nice uh, decline in Friday. Um, if if we don't get you know any sort of bounce here, then this week could end up being a pretty bad week you know september has had that before this it wouldn't be the first time but uh you know how things stand right now we had a great discount so there is the opportunity to bounce all eyes will be on the u.s inflation data um so that might add to the big taper debate um we have you know um what else what else we got on the news side you said you see anything important that came out well, you were mentioning North Korea before this too. Oh so yeah, just, uh, just testing risk. some testing some missiles. Does that does that rattle the, the <laughs> does yeah, that rattle markets? Saying, yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's always out there. So the backdrop of a weak September with some of these risks out there, there's no catalyst to the upside. So it seems right, like right. So so I'm preparing a really robust list of longs uh i've got shorts as well uh, but there's a lot of uh a lot more long stocks in there um for monday morning and i'm going to play it as is if it's a risk on environment if it's a risk off environment we're looking really weak and there's some other bad news that comes out perhaps um then i'm going to like close some of the technology stocks um, so that I don't send those orders and focus more on, you know, keeping the lower beta stuff in and um, possibly increasing my short on, um, you know, maybe using some of the uh, Russell or using the NASDAQ 100, which is the Qs. Um, so IWM and Qs might be added to the mix as well. So I'm kind of I've got two kind of scenarios of one is risk on and one is risk off. Do you want to just talk a few minutes about um, what you see as the differences between risk on and risk off? Over to you. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, well, in terms of the futures, I mean, really the the, the 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 fact that oil is rallying, uh, the VIX is down, the ten-year is solid and uh, supportive too. These are all tying in nicely with what we've seen in the odds, because uh, the odds are really reflecting uh, things that are going to do well with inflation. Things when the ten-year note goes up, financials are supported. We're seeing that in the odds as well. Um, materials are doing well, which is going to be um, uh, do well with inflation as well, uh, just like crude. So we are going to have this um, backdrop of financials and materials doing stronger, and even energy. And it seems like um, staples, consumer discretionary, those are weaker. So uh, that's what it would indicate on that side. Uh, gold and silver weak. Uh, some of those materials are showing some weakness right now. I think that that's also in line with um, a risk on mentality. Uh, th those are defensive um, bets. And on the currency side, the dollar is uh, up a little bit, but. Uh, it hasn't had too much movement after its uh, uh, initial movement recently. Uh, it's still, I think, relatively near a, a, a low for the month. And yeah, so 
All right. Well, um, anything else to add to the show today? No, I think I, I think that mid month is going to be a good uh, thing to watch for everyone, and then it's going to set us up for that third Friday options expiration, and then we're going to have to wait till the end of the month next to see uh, what the next uh, kind of right. catalyst season of the month will be. I mean, there's always the opportunity for you know people to come in, you know, and really just buy this market and so on. But I'll, I'll just tell you from experience that September generally hasn't been one of those all out let's buy everything type months um it's been a bit softer there's been you know some um choppiness and uh you know we've got a lot of government stuff that we're waiting on you know because the new budgets start october 1st things like that so um it's just you know it's it's not a great month to go hog wild and 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 buy but you know any anything can happen i mean if they want to buy this the market's been really self-correcting, and if they want to buy into this uh, discount that we've just uh, finished Friday with, um, then I'm not going to argue with it, right? All right. Anywho, uh, I guess we should wrap it up here and uh, wish you a good trading week, uh, Dave, and uh, keep All me right. posted. Good luck, Rob. Thanks. Yeah, cheers.